Hello fans, welcome to JKF Tech. This model of the switch, you can see the model of the switch here. Anytime you have this switch, this model here, 2960S series PoE. When you have this model of switch with PoE issue, what you're going to do is you're going to okay let me show you the model from the cover look at the model here you can see this one this one is the real s 62960 2960 sorry c 2960 s 48 lps l so this is the this type of switch this model of switch whenever you have a PoE uh, problem on the switch look at what you're going to do just change all the IC here because you see at the back of the switch here you can see at the back of the switch you can see I've already removed the ICs all of them here I've removed so I'm going to replace all with the new one so this model Whenever it have a PoE issue, is the best thing is to remove all of them because all of them is affected. Sometimes when you're checking that you see maybe two port not working, port 24 or port uh, and the port like 38 not working. Then when you on it again, when you restart it again, then you find out that that port 24 and 38 is working. That another port maybe what port one and eight is not working. So this this problem you what you need to do just change all the IC at the back of this place you can see I've removed all of them so I'm going to replace it with a new one so anytime you see this kind of problem or that's PoE issue the best thing is to change all the IC at the back of here that's the best thing to do this model I, I showed you the model already the 2960 S, S model whether LPSL, FPSL, uh, PSL all that's 24 port but mostly it happens in 48 port it doesn't happen in 24 port most of the time but anytime it happens both 24 port 48 port just know that you have to change all the PoE ICs and look at the PoE ICs here this ICs this one you're seeing right here this one is PoE IC. This one you're seeing. This one you're seeing here is PoE IC. Thank you. See you in the next video.